received more information as the situation worsens at the University of Lincoln. It is still unconfirmed as to whether the Prime Minister is in fact one of the hostages, but it has been determined that there are at least four hostages and that ransom demands have been made. The situation arose this morning when the Prime Minister made a special visit to the University to open the widely publicised new Public Service Building. The police are currently refusing to state whether the Prime Minister has been kidnapped or who the kidnappers may be. However, notorious terrorist group, the RIAD, have publicly claimed responsibility for the events. The area has been restricted, however armed units have been seen entering the area and gunshots have been heard by witnesses. Our thoughts are with the families of the hostages involved and we will keep you informed as new information is released. There are three points of entry in the building. Point A, point B and point C. We're going to enter all three points simultaneously to clear the whole building. Point A on the north side of the building is where you frost will be taking team out for the south through the upper levels. Point B is where you banks will be taking team Bravo west through the ventilation system. Now Pickard and Selway, you'll be with me reaching a point C, working our way through the ground floor with the majority of the terrorists. We're going to regroup in the central atrium. There's no option of failure today. Now I'll see you on the inside. You've got four minutes. Look, I'm sick of talking. I get the money in the bank in the next three hours or he dies. Take these somewhere else. You'll never get away with it. Wait. I'll do it then. Something's wrong. You two, go check it out.
Drop the gun. Drop the fucking gun. I warned you. As new information is released from the situation in Lincoln, it has been confirmed that the Prime Minister was one of the hostages and that he has been extracted from the building by counter-terrorist groups. He is unharmed and is safe and is back with his family. We have also been informed that there has been casualties who as yet remain unidentified. However, it has been reported that the infamous leader of the terrorist group, the RIAD, Juan Bartega, has been shot and killed by counter-terrorist forces. Join us later as we speak to the Foreign Secretary in regard to the potential consequences of today's events.